Zuma, here we are, opening week in the CDL. You guys had a little rough start. Talk to me about the team's morale. We're doing all right. Um, obviously, it's tough to come out to start the league 0-2, but um, we had two very good teams, and obviously the game changed a lot. So I definitely think we need to go back and uh, perfect our craft. We have a lot of work to do. So we'll go back, watch film, and, and put in more time, and, and hopefully it helps out. We have a lot of talent on the team, so I'm not too worried. We've well, been around the scene a long time, had a lot of great players that you teamed with and then played against today, playing against Selium. What is it like playing against a player like that? Yeah, it's tough because he's, he's a very good player. He was one of the players that when he was on the come up, he was young. I, I saw a lot in him and he deserves to be where he is. He's a great talent, great player, great attitude. Um, one of, a very good friend of mine. So, you know, it's, it's fun playing my friends. Um, I'm sure I'll hear about it later when, when we're sitting in the room that they smoked us, but um, it, it was cool, it was, it's amazing. Talk about being on a team phase, a part of your life for so long. How does it feel to be on a stage up there, basically since 2015, for under another brand for the first time. It was weird. It was really weird. It was just because I'm so used to representing FaZe. So even after the after the match, just tweeting out good games FaZe, it was just very weird to me. But um, like I said, I'm cool with everybody over there. Um, I love those guys. I'm best friends with all those guys over there. So um, they're an amazing team, a lot of talent, and they're going to go really far. So. Well, you've seen also been around the scene. You've seen the smack talk. You've seen the things happen. This weekend we got some drama, eggs, creme. Man, what, what does the drama like that do for the COD community and does it have a place here? Yeah, definitely. I think people like to see stuff like that. Um, it just kind of adds like a story to, to the matches. So for me, I don't, I don't trash talk a lot unless I need to. Um, but yeah, I, I love it a lot. Aix is, Aix is hilarious. How much did the update affect you guys? The Empire said it definitely affected how they played. How did it affect you guys going to this? It definitely affected us just because we've been grinding for months on a completely, to my opinion, a completely different game. The spawns were a little different on some of the game modes. Um, the movement's a little different, so it's just something that we got to get used to. But at the same time, I don't like to talk about it because every team has to adapt to it. So we were all on the sa uh, same level playing field, but it definitely was a bummer to put in so much time into something and for them to just completely change the game going into the event. So I definitely think that affected our team a lot. Can you talk a little bit about the change to domination that kind of affected how you guys rotate and play? Yeah, it just picked up the pace because you can cap flags super fast now. So people are just single hopping flags. People are sneaking around. People are all over the map, it feels like. So the spawns are definitely a lot hectic now, too, with the neutralizing flags. So like I said, we got to go back and really study the, the map and, and just see what's going on because we need we were a little lost. How did this team come together? How did, how did the subliners put it together roster that we saw on stage today? Yeah, I mean, we're all good friends outside the game. Um, we've been competing for a long time, everybody on the team, so we all knew each other, and we just wanted to make a strong team of talent and people who really wanted to win, and that's exactly what we did. So I'm happy to be on stage with those guys, and I'm, I'm pretty confident we'll bounce back for sure. Well, since they're stepping up as a sixth man, we haven't seen really any substitutes come into play yet. How is that role, and how is he playing out with the team? How is he helping out you guys? Yeah, I mean, we have Doug, uh, Sensor, and Happy uh, Suda as two of our subs. And they're so supportive. They're always showing love. They're always supporting, always giving input. And uh, most importantly, they just always have our back. So it's good to have people on the team like that who can fill in anytime we need them. And, you know, they're great talents as well. So it's good to have them on board. Well, we talked a little about off screen before this. Colby, somebody we've watched grow up. Bad news today, the loss of Colby. Talk to me a little about how that affected you when you first heard it. Yeah, that actually like hurt my heart a lot because obviously I woke up to it. I woke up, looked at my phone. And I was in disbelief. I, I grew up watching Kobe. Um, I, I used to listen to some podcasts and listen to him talk about his mindset about basketball and, and kind of how he thinks about things. And he just had a great attitude when it came to in-game and out-of-game. And he was a role model to people everywhere, all over the world. So it was it was heartbreaking. And uh, I, there's not much. Just I'm going to say a prayer tonight for his friends and family. And um, it's, it's devastating. It's Absolutely a devastating thing. Hearts go out to the family as well. But best of luck to you guys as you continue throughout this season.